Alrighty, back again. Um, we, uh, as you can see, we're getting some snow here. We're supposed to be getting uh, a decent amount coming through Pennsylvania, West Virginia, um, Northern Virginia. Um, decided last minute, kind of going to make a trip to West Virginia um, to go to uh, a resort there to do some snowboarding. Um, we're going to be camping in the back of the Jeep along the way. I'm about an hour to an hour and a half already on the way to uh, to West Virginia. I started in just north of Philly in Bala Kinwood and then making my way pretty much western PA and then gonna go down south into um, West Virginia. Um, try to find a decent campsite. We'll uh, be sleeping in the back of the Jeep tonight and then we'll uh, we'll be driving a few hours uh, in the morning make it make it to the mountain but yeah we'll see. see that but it's starting to come down now uh, it's only gonna get worse from here so we're definitely gonna be slowing down we'll see how far I get all right now to pull over again I'm able to make it like 10 miles at a time I would say my windshield wipers keep icing up and don't get don't get swept off the um, the windshield so it's just icing over icing over limiting my visibility some places are getting really bad where I'm just driving 35 miles an hour just trying to like make it to the next stop. So I think I gotta go to another Walmart or something and I don't know if I need like Rain X or on the windshield or if my wipers are getting old and they're just icing over. Not sure. Another pit stop, but this is looking a little sketchy. It's starting to pile up a little bit. Uh, and I'm starting to notice and you know, on the snowpack places, the Jeep is starting to slide in the back a little bit. I'm in Shippensburg right now going down to Hagerstown. I think Hagerstown is in Maryland. Stay tuned. More to come. Walmart absolutely clutch with the hookup. Sweet beanie. Ice scraper in this. Two in one all season. Negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter washer fluid. That is clutch. They gave me like the absolute massive 3XXL Big Mac size. They didn't have a smaller one, so we got extra. All right, nothing stopping us now, boys. We are, we're making it. We're making it to a campground tonight, I promise. So this is what it looks like. Headlights, brights, a checkout. Yay! It looks so cool. I think those lights are definitely not in the right spot, though. It's a really cool little town. Hagerstown. Town. Alright, we just hit the gate to the National Park, and it is exactly midnight. you go through creepy and someone's already here I can see their tracks oh, okay McCoy's Ferry is what it is I don't know if you guys can see that Not gonna lie. This is eerie as fuck. So to my back is a creek. Right to my front left is just a bathroom. Lock the doors. Uh, 
and it's it's still coming down i'm here in the parking lot and there's it looks like there's no one here there were tracks it looks like someone was doing donuts or something down here so it's like it's kind of sketchy but i think the best thing i can do is not look out into like the eerie dark cold blackness and just put up i have um the insulation liners I can put all around the back and the back side and then also have this curtain I installed so I'll at least be closed off from everyone if there's anyone out there uh, and I can lock the doors have my thing on me and then kind of hang out there in the back uh, I don't know hope for the best I guess I'm not cooking anything tonight no way this is it's still coming down pretty heavy But hopefully when we wake up, it'll be a nice, awesome view. Uh, hopefully we can go down to the river, kind of explore a little bit and get a, get a lay of the land. But right now it's just like, if someone were to come up and bang on my window, I'd shit myself. I would absolutely freak the hell out and just start shooting. <laughs> so the gate was open, so I shouldn't have a problem with any like sheriffs or anything like that. National Park people. I just, I hope no, there's not some like Hills Have Eyes, West Virginia man in that bathroom. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm all set up. Hopefully you can see me okay. This is kind of sketchy. Um, one thing that I will not do again is go to an unknown place without seeing it in the light and just showing up in the darkness, not knowing where anything is. You can see everything. So I'm gonna make this nice and short and sweet with this light here. Uh, I'm sure I'll be perfectly fine, but a little sketchy. Oh, 42, the seventh. So today we'll wake up early, maybe five, maybe six. I probably wanna get out of here as soon as possible or see the sunlight as soon as possible. If you can see here, I'm just laying. This is what I did last time as well. I'm just laying down. I have a better pad this time, so it's much more comfortable. I tested this one night in the parking garage, and then I just put the skate or the snowboard up top like that over the headrests. 100% need a top rack because we are messy in here. This will be a really good test uh, for me if I can actually, you know, stand doing this for multiple weeks or so. Um, I guess the idea right now for me is uh see kind of how, how much i like this how how does it work how easy am i able to do it and uh if so we might be able to do this full time i've got my lease coming up here in a couple of months so if that's the case and i'm able to get away with this you know live on the road work on the road and uh save some money that way i think that'd be fun the idea is to potentially go out to the west coast uh, Montana, Colorado, Utah, uh, back to Arizona, maybe some northern, you know, Pacific Northwest would be cool. Um, you know, just general camping, but it's set up right now, obviously, you need to improve and improve and improve on it, but um, it's kind of cool. It's like day by day, getting one or two things that'll help me out. This whole privacy curtain, I like a lot. Last time, last time I felt safer, it last, uh, up in upstate New York because I was at one of those service stations so you know there's people around but you know you're a little bit more secure this is just <laughs> remote but um, so yeah I've got a little uh, soda here to uh, cheers to making it out here safe and calm the nerves but um, I don't know what that is, but it's not up. So right behind, 
It's a plow or something going back and forth. Oh, okay. Um, just thinking too much into it. The world's a happy place and no one wants to do anyone harm. <laughs> That's it for me. Okay, so I was going to sit here at the campsite and uh, maybe make some some food um, and then kind of watch the sun come up and see if we can get a take, a take a look around here. But I was just looking at the map. We're still four hours away from the mountain. And that's 620 right now. I don't know if it's a nine. I thought we were so much closer. So I'm going to get out of here right now um, and pick up and go. And then hopefully next time you see me, we'll be... Heck of a lot closer. Pretty remote out here, West Virginia. Uh, it's a nice and warm 16 degrees. They're not playing out here. Nice, nice wind as well. It's probably gonna feel like it's zero or potentially negative up on the mountain. Hang on like three and a half hours of sleep. Feeling good, feeling right. Gorgeous. Still climbing. You can't see the scale, I don't think, of this mountain or this hill or mountain in front of us, but it's just it seems straight up and down. It's amazing. There ain't no rest for the weary. Phew. Sucks.
fun that was a good day it's five degrees oh my god with winds oh at least 20 miles an hour it's definitely oh. I feel pretty negative out there negative degrees all right so it was a great day I could have had another hour and a half to, to run but I'd rather get off this mountain if it keeps snowing like this. And if, you know, everyone starts pouring off, either there's not too many people, but the biggest thing is I need to find a campground. I saw a few awesome campgrounds coming in, but they were just, they weren't plowed. So there's no way I'm even gonna attempt that. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna be cold tonight because all my gear is wet and it's laying on my bed right now. I've got my mattress tucked up top, but I think it's still gonna be wet unless we can heat up this car for a lot longer. Uh, so I think it's gonna be a miserable night. So if I can make it a few hours back toward home and then maybe a service station or something like, something warmer. <laughs> if I need to go inside in the middle of the night and warm up, that might be the best bet. As I know, it's gonna be a cold one. But uh, driving should be decent. These people just getting here. Just a few. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I would love to get a campfire going tonight, though. We could even dry out some of my clothes. <laughs> it's freezing. I didn't get as much footage as I think I should have. I was videotaping my, and hopefully you guys will see it. And it's took a little spill, tiny, but I'm just not good enough yet to work with a GoPro to capture myself. Easily capture someone else, follow them behind, but it's just hard when you're thinking about the angle and you have something in your hand as acting as like a counterweight, you don't ride the same, or at least I don't ride the same, or at least I gotta get used to it. Uh, other than that, let's go. I can't see behind me, but let me get out of here. Skedaddle. 